The idea put forward right now by developers is to develop the entire Century Hill into a rainforest themed adventure park. Emilio Wilson's house is over there in that area and that is where they plan to have the, the facilities for the park. So this is, that is where the amusement park will start. In their plans, there are plans to put something called the um, uh, lifts to the top and, and they have all different type of bobsleds. And then the zip lines will go up the hill You'll have the chairlifts going up the hill and over the ridges and then coming back down, of course. So that the idea is that they could see the view of Phillipsburg and surrounding areas. This is the area where children come out and they play football over here in this area. And a little higher up, the VKS and the police they have where they, they do shooting. This is their shooting range. So what is going to happen over here is this is where they plan to have the overflow for the parking lot, for the amusement park. It's a theme park, a rainforest theme park. And you could see for yourself, this area is not a rainforest. So basically it's a fabrication. It's something that they will create a type of Disneyfication, if you'd like to call it that. So with the plans that are being proposed, a lot of this green area, much of it, will be destroyed to make way for heavy-duty construction to put in those type of chairlifts, ski lifts, amusement type rides, and that type of entertainment, uh, especially for tourists. We had about 49 plantations on St. Martin, and Emilio Wilson is the last one to have remained relatively intact since the slavery era. So this area is of importance because of, of cultural historical reasons, but also because of ecological reasons. The top of the hill has largely remained um, undeveloped, and most of it above the 200 meters was never cleared for agricultural purposes. So there's a lot of ecological value there. And if you do zip lining and any sorts of mass tourism events to the top of the hill, it is going to have a, a serious ecological impact. When we first asked the questions, they said they wanted to cater up to 800 people a day. You'll see that there's a rock formation there and there are several caves there that are bats make use of those caves. There are a lot of birds, we've done bird counts over here, a lot of birds that make use of this area. So it will have a serious impact on your, your bat species and your birds, um, people going up the hill all the time, you know, making loud noises. People are, it, it's an amusement park, so people are going to come here, as the word says already, to amuse themselves. And it's going to have an effect on your bat population and your bird populations. When certain objections went in that it was thought uh, that it was too much of a high impact for this area. Um, of course it came back, they came back, the developers came back and said yes, okay, so they can bring it down to maybe 300 or 400. But let's be honest with ourselves. On St. Martin, it is very difficult to um, monitor that. A developer very much on St. Martin tells you what he wants you uh, to know, but that does not mean that he will follow exactly what he says or what is put on paper. Well, if you, look at, um, if you look at the hill right now, you can see that right there is where they started clearing vegetation already. So they've already started clearing vegetation to make a, a path to the top of the hill, to the caves and the rock formation on the top of Century Hill. It is being sold as something that is eco-friendly and is being sold as an eco-friendly project. Now, you know, we don't have anything really against the project itself. We believe that this is just not the right location for it. We believe that there should be an... If they are really so in tune with the environment and they really care about protecting St. Martin's ecology, well then please find another location to do this. Mm -hmm.